Now ever so gently, and I'm using a file here that's about half worn out because I don't really want to take very much off of that. Just, oh, just ever so much. So small amount is all I want to take off, just around that hole right there because you don't want no leakage here now. It's quite important that you do have a very, very good fit. Okay, now I kind of radius that, but I can see a little dark place on both sides, so I can tell that it's where that there. And, 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 and I was expecting this on account of that paper pen was so mushroomed. Someone really, really, really laid the big hammer on it. Now, it seems like I'm taking a lot off here, but I'm really not. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of emery cloth that's about worn out, and I'm going to put this in a vise and, 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 and smooth that up. Okay, we'll try it again. We'll see, we'll see what we've got. Now, I've not put any oil on this yet because I want a real nice fit, and I can feel a little bit. I can feel it's not, it's not, it's not right. So... Let's look at it again. Now, you can see exactly, well, actually it moved over just a shade, but it did change color, and it got wider, so that means that I did make some, but there's a high place right there. See that shiny place between those two dark places? So that's where I have to file. Should be on the other side, and yes, it is. Uh, right there is the brass and right here so I have to work that down and I don't want to take too much at one time this is one of them things that you sneak up on so I'm gonna go through it that same same procedure that I just did again I'm going to work uh, just ever so gently that was mushroomed out a little more and you don't want to get this too much because that's where your the kick pedal part with the balls is right in there. So, but I'd rather have a high place than a low place. And you can see when you're working with the file right here, you can see that. When the file goes across it, you can see the removing of the material. And each time you file, now, you know, take, make it a long, you don't want to just file in one place. You just kind of want to make a smooth transition wherever the high place was. And, and this is where those shadow lines will benefit you. And try not to get too far into the bearing surface itself. And you can see all the way around, I am going to go ahead and take that off this time, where that, where that segment gear actually stopped. You can see where it was, it's a little worn. Actually, it's not worn. This part right here is original, and the part out yonder is where it wore. So, but it may have upset the metal a little bit. That's all I'm going to do right now, and I'm going to put it over there in the vise, and I'll be back. Okay, now, now, now what I've been doing off camera there is with this piece of emery cloth, uh, all I have been doing is uh, uh, going around this holding it like this in the vise and going around there and polishing it up this shaft right here that's all I'm polish I've been polishing the them file marks out of there so now let's try it in the crankcase let's just see what we've got uh, first off probably should uh, probably should run something down through you uh, just kind of get the dust out of there get the dust off of yonder now we're not putting no oil on it yet so okay right there I felt well it just that's pretty good oh yeah y'all see that 
Now see where I was falling is outside of the bushing area. Now if that bushing is in that housing askew, when you screw this other half of the crankcase together, then it will lock them up. So put that on there like that. There will be a gasket in here. I'm just putting it up here for show and tell. And that does turn quite good. Now, neither none, none of these parts has any lubricant on them. So, oh, I'm pleased with that. Now, one of the things that wears these bushings to the point of uselessness is this new two-cycle oil. Don't get me started on two-cycle oil. It's just unnecessary in this type bushing, and it's just not necessary. It's all I'm going to say about the new type of oils. So, now we've got this. Well, we're done. We The next thing to do is to drill this hole right down in this crankcase here. It's easier to drill it in the crankcase than it is to drill it before you put the bushing in there then try to match it up. It's much easier to do it this way. I'm going to do it on the drill press. The hole in that bushing yanner is 3 8 So what I did is I just propped this up on some 2 before yonder and put a piece of metal in there so that that drill pit wouldn't go through yonder and hit the other side and then I run this here 3 8 drill bit right down in, in yonder and just clean that clean that hole up and there was a little burr down in yonder and then I took this here file it's one of them there that kind and went right in yonder just ever so gently and cleaned that burr off of that 3 8 hole and then while I was down in there I made sure that that little hole right down in yonder the little drain back hole right there, I did blow it with some high pressure air, washed it out with some lacquer thinner and made sure it was open on the inside in there so that the fuel would drain back when I put this back in there. Uh, I'm going to do it now. Okay, I just ran the wire brush around that there oil retainer right there, cleaned it up real good. That boy in there is real good and clean. That hole's open, and I'm just going to take just a little dab of that there Permatex, ever such a little bit. I mean, just bordering on being none. You do not want to get this in that little hole down yonder on the bottom of that crankcase. So you just want ever such. Now this is just for the ones that really wants to glue something together uh, to use this Permatex. Because you know I would normally be using the Gasola. But you put that right there like that. And just seat it right down in there to where that it is level. With the top of that. And in order to prove it's level to yourself, just kind of run across through the under with the file and see if there was any any burrs. And right there is one on the edge of that house in there, see? So it was a good thing. But that's, uh, that's perfectly level across there. That's good to go right there. That's good to go. Now I'm still going to wash this down with some lacquer thinner. Do you see the little hole down yonder? The drain back? That's good. Uh, I'm going to wash this down with lacquer thinner. And then we will, uh, we're going to put together.